our National Guard is a slice of America. But the unfortunate thing about it is, is that when they go on deployments or mobilizations, they come back home, they're having to enter the job market with the rest of America. And we know how competitive that is. You have to understand too that many of these people are, they're not full-time soldiers and oftentimes are uprooted from their lives, completely disrupts their lives and, and, and on a personal basis and a professional basis. They suffer a lot when they're gone. Many of them lose their jobs. Um, I mean, we owe them an effort to get them jobs. H2H program presents a very handy tool for our soldiers who are coming back. Uh, we have canvassed employers and had them to sign up and become part of the website, listing the jobs that they have that, that will be becoming available. And uh, then when the soldiers come back, we enlist them into the website as well. They have skill sets that um, it's, it's an investment because employers are not having to go ahead and retrain. So they're already trained, they, they bring, it's a value. Um, it is our responsibility to, to put our military service members back to work. As we all know, when you go in the military, you don't just do one thing, you do a number of things. Uh, there is a wide range of, uh, of skills that they bring with them. Uh, they, they're loyal, uh, they're drug free, they uh, are aware of their appearance, they uh, know about security, they know about teamwork and dedication. And, uh, and I think it is a very, very good uh, choice if someone decides they want to bring a, a guardsman or a reservist into their employment. Because these, these people are the future, as far as I'm concerned. They are the core of the future for this country. And uh, they deserve whatever we can do for them. You see a young man or a young lady who has discipline instilled in them, and which at 5 o'clock on Friday afternoon, uh, they'll be the person that's shutting the door. And that says so much about these young men and women.